All right, guys, welcome back again. I wanna talk about a few things considering summer's here and it's getting hot. We wanna talk about a little bit about AC and some overheating issues. Let's start out with my favorite one, AC, because I live in Florida and it's hot. I've already had a few customers already this summer with AC issues. I would like to talk about a few of them. Uh, one was that he would tell me I'm driving down the road, AC blows cold, but when I'm sitting still, it doesn't blow cold at all. Uh, we end up finding out that the fan, which is bolted on the front of the motor area, is uh, actually not engaging. So that could be usually one or two issues. It's gonna be the fan solenoid, or it, you may hear an air leak coming out the front, which could be your fan clutch. Uh, once we get that working, then it brings the temperature down right along with the pressure, then the AC starts blowing cold. And a good way to figure that out is again, when you're driving, it gets cold. When you're sitting still, it gets hot. And then do some of the pre-maintenance things, you know, especially if you have animals inside your cab, Sometimes you may want to clean the fur, pull the inner filter, and then if you go through a dust storm and so forth, make sure you replace the outer AC filter as well. And that just keeps things breathing along, doesn't create a choke point in the AC system. And then the next one is overheating. Most of these issues I haven't seen a lot of other than just water pump and thermostat. So we can go through a few things that may help. Um, water pump now in these days, you know, temperature usually gives you a check engine light. And there's more than one sensor on there, so you'll get a difference in temperature. So most of the newer trucks will tell you what's going on when it comes to that. And then thermostat, um, that's usually an easy one for me. The only thing I can tell you is if you do these few steps, just be very careful. It is very hot. I would make sure that the truck gets up to 200 degrees. Once it's 200 degrees, because the thermostat's open at 190 on the DD15 engine, you'll notice that this pipe will get extremely hot. Now, if this pipe is not hot and it says 200 on the dash and it's hot, the pipe is hot over there, the thermostat's not opening up, you have a problem with the thermostat. And that's just an easy way to diagnose. And I wouldn't just grab it the way I did. I'd probably palm up and just touch it so you can pull your hand away real fast. But if it's still cool to the touch and the dash says 200, uh, you know you have a problem with it thermostat. Again, thank you for uh, spending some time. I hope these little tricks and little tips that help. Uh, if you have any questions about AC or overheating, please leave me a comment on the bottom. This is Steve. Have a great day.